Good morning, everybody. It's Monday morning, August 6th, the sixth day of August. I feel glorious, glorious. Got a chance to start again. I was born for this, born for this. It's who I am. I could have again. So I'm up, I'm finished getting ready. I'm getting ready to leave for work, but I have to wake Marco up because he has. Uh, practice for soccer this morning, but he wanted me to wake him up. Yep, he, he wanted me to wake him up before he went to work. Before I went to work, I can't talk this morning. And then Brad's gonna wake him up at six again. So, hey, mm. it's five thirty. I'm leaving for work. All right, bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. That'll wake you up again at six something. No, I'm not. Okay. Light on or off? Mm. All right. Hopefully he stays awake. All right, I'm off to work. Good morning, guys. It's 6.45. Marker said he wanted to be at soccer tryouts at 6.15. And I said, well, I'm not fighting with you to get up, set your alarm, whatever. So Brett woke him up at 5.30, and the deal was Brett would wake him up at 5.30, he'd set his alarm for 6, and then he'd get up. Well, I didn't hear my alarm until 6.30. So now he's going to barely make it there by 7. Not my problem. So... Ooh, excuse me. Now we're leaving the house to go to take him to soccer practice. Maybe he'll be there on time. I doubt it, but maybe. Alright, so Ralphie and I are going to get my sister Christy. Taking her to work. No. We're going to get her, and then she is, um, then she's, uh, taking me to get my nephew Jeffrey's car, because I'm using Jeffrey's car while she uses my truck. It, it's crazy, you guys. But anyways, she's going to take me to go get her son's car, because I wouldn't need my truck, but now that Marco's doing this sport, I kind of need my vehicle now because when he gets out, I have to go get him. Then after I go get him from practice or whatever, tryouts, then I have to take him to therapy at 1230. And then I got to go back to work after that. So just busy, busy, busy. And then, holy cow. Okay, good. Um, and then um, I thought cops were, or the fire trucks were coming, but they're just parking. Um, and then Ralphie will go with Linda today. Linda watches him on Mondays now instead of Sundays, or instead of Thursdays. So they're parking. Do what? I need to get used to it. Yep. It's different, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's about all going on today. I think why Marco's at therapy, I mean go look at some vehicles. I'm thinking about trading my truck in for something cheaper. Like a van. No, not like a van. That's not gonna be any cheaper. Yeah. I hate to get rid of my truck because I love my truck, but if we could get cheaper payments on something else, I'm down for that. It's just, my payments aren't horrible on the truck, but they're high enough. And it's a gas guzzler, so if I could find something that was more reasonable with gas, that would be great. Even though I don't drive far from home to work, but running the kids to baseball practice, to therapy, to the psychiatrist, 
stuff like that, it does use up some gas, so just find something that's going to be a little cheaper on gas, maybe. Gas prices are ridiculous right now, and they're not going to go down, so when you spend $80 to fill up a vehicle and it lasts a week, it's quite a bit of money a month. So, enough of all that crap. Let's keep it positive today, guys. Keep it positive. It's a busy day at work for sure today. That's good. I love it when it's busy because time goes by so fast. Dang, they're rocking and rolling on that house, Ralphie. Yeah, they have like some sort of basically already done with it. Almost. In like tomorrow, it's already going to be done. <laughs> Probably pretty darn close to it. They're rocking and rolling on it. Okay, so I'm home from work. Got home, been picking up stuff around the house. Picked up Ralphie's swimming trunks on the floor just now that he left on the floor that were wet. Don't you love kids? You have to tell them over and over to do something like beating your head against a wall. Put your swimming trunks outside when you're done. On the floor, they're on the floor, they're on the floor. Don't just throw your shoes down there, put them down easy, that nice and easy. They're thrown down there, they're thrown down there, they're thrown down there. Push your chair in when you're done. Leave the chair out, leave the chair out, leave the chair out. Don't put your hands on the glass when you're shutting the door. Puts his hands on the glass, puts his hands on the glass, puts his hands on the glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, they're just kids, they're gonna do that, but it drives me crazy because I keep having to repeat myself over and over and over again. Oh, the joys of kids, joys of kids. So, right now, I'm getting ready to leave because I have to go to the salon to get our nephew Jeffrey's car because Brad had used it to take Marco to track practice tonight because his sister has his car to take to work. So he was supposed to have his car back to his house by 12 because he worked overnight and he needs it. So now I have to go over there and then get the car, take it to the apartment and then walk back to get my car because he's asleep from working. It's crazy, but I'll have to go there now and do that. So I'll get me some exercise walking back. It's not that far. I only walk, I think he lives like, maybe like two to three blocks away from the salon. But anyway, it wouldn't be so bad, but it's like almost 100 degrees out. It's hot. I better take my iced coffee with me. So cool myself off while I'm walking. Okay, so I dropped the car off at the apartments. They said he'd probably be awake getting ready to go to work, but and I can knock on the door, he'd probably drive me back over to the salon, but it's only a couple of blocks and he's probably busy getting ready for work. I don't want to make him have to stop and bring me over here, so I'll just take a nice little walk out here. At least the sun is behind some clouds right now, so it's not super sunny. So don't feel quite as hot. Give me a little bit of exercise. On those love handles. So I'm halfway there. A little bit warm. <laughs> not gonna lie. It's not too bad. I do love summer, but I do like it when it's spring. Or not spring, fall. Well, I like spring too, but I like it when I do like when fall comes and it's a little bit cooler in the daytime, not quite as hot. You know, 70s, lower 80s is nice, upper 70s, that's like perfect for the daytime. But I like summer because it's warmer at night. I like it when it stays warm at night. Like after the sun goes down, it's still warm like in the 70s. I love that at night. You can have the windows open and it's still like in the 70s at night. But like a cool, not like a humid 70s, like a cool 70s. The only thing I don't like about the fall, I like the fall in the daytime when it's nice, but I don't like it when it gets chilly at night. I know a lot of people like fall chilly weather, you know, having a sweater on all that stuff but I don't like chilly weather because I get super cold I'm really cold-blooded so I don't like it when it gets chilly anything below like 65 is chilly to me so unfortunately when you have 70s in the fall 
and then daytime, it's usually like 50 or so at night. And that gets a little bit chilly for me. So that's why I like summer, because it does get hot in the daytime this summer, but then at night it's, it's still really warm. But I think I'm ready for some cooler fall weather, though, I think. I'm breathing kind of heavy. I need to start walking on the treadmill again, I think. Alright guys, so I'm getting ready to leave work. I've had the best freaking day. I'm just gonna go home and go straight to bed. I don't even care. I don't even care. That's how <laughs> today. And I know I'm cussing, but it's been one of them days and you're just gonna have to excuse me. So anywho, I'm finishing up getting things together and then I'm out of here. All right, so got back home from taking my little walk, Brad got home. Yeah, they've already heard my little rant. Oh, you already told them? That's your day? Yeah. Oh, and before I forget, we want to say happy birthday to Peyton, who was 10 years old yesterday, August 5th. Happy birthday, Peyton. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Peyton. Happy birthday to you. Cha cha cha. Yes, Peyton. He's the one, if you will remember, was it last year or the year before? Was it Christmas? He wrote it the picture, drew a picture of all four of us. Yep. It was so cute. We still have that. Cute. We still have that picture. We sure did. So happy birthday, Peyton. And let's see. Brad just cut up some cantaloupe. And it smells really good. But I don't really like cantaloupe, but it smells so good. I've never really liked cantaloupe. There's something about it, like an aftertaste to it. I just don't care for it for some reason. I like honeydew melon, which is similar. But I don't care for cantaloupe. Let me try it again and see. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, I mean it's okay. It's just not my favorite. I don't know what it is. I don't know how to describe what it is in there that I'm not crazy about. It's kind of salty a little bit. I don't know. Just quit being a baby. I really want to like it because it smells so good. It looks good. It's good for you. But just something about it I'm not crazy about. Can I get this hummingbird mint? Sure. It's ten dollars. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. I haven't That's asked to buy flowers. I can't in a do really the can. I'll have to cut up this watermelon over here, and I'll eat that watermelon over there on the counter. Back there. Here, do this. No, not more salt. It already tastes salty enough to me. That's why I think I don't like it. This which I like. Grandpa would more salt. If anything, I think I'd want to put some sugar on there just to sweeten it, it, sweeten it up a little bit. My grandpa would do it this way. Just try it this way. This way, Grandpa used to it. With salt. Mm. -hmm. mm. No. 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 Mm. Definitely not. Ugh. That makes it more salty. I don't get a salty taste. Maybe I should try putting a little sh sugar on there. I love it. Now I can just eat candle or honeydew melon a whole bunch. For some reason, I just like that better. I don't know what it is. I love candle. So comment down below, do you like watermelon mm. or do you not like watermelon? We'll do a little poll. Cantaloupe you mean? Or cantaloupe. <laughs> do you like cantaloupe or do you not like cantaloupe? I'm Which sure the majority of people probably like cantaloupe. Peach wine. I'm drinking lots of wine tonight because I had such a bad day. With that peach wine. Just. I've already had a half a bottle. That really sweet wine. I thought you said it was too sweet for you. I don't care what it is. It's alcohol and I'm drinking it. 
It was one of them days. Just one of them days when you want to be la la la. It's one of those days. I might drink the whole bottle and have a hangover tomorrow. So I'm trying out my colonial candle jack-o-lantern that I received from them to review. It smells really good. It smells so good. Doesn't it? Yes. I love it. And I have the wax I have the wax smell going along with it inside there. It just enhances it even more with that wax smell going in there. It smells really good. And then I also have in the bedroom. The other one they sent me, Colonial Candle Graveyard Fog. Mmm. And it smells good too. It's a really good black licorice scent, but it's got like a sweetness to it. it. Might be the vanilla that's in there. It's really good. And I have the wax melt of that in there as well, and it just enhances it just as much. Brad doesn't really like it though, because he doesn't like black licorice. I don't like black licorice either. I hate black licorice and black jelly beans to eat, but I love the smell of it. I just don't like the taste of them, but it smells really, really good. I'll be doing reviews of those probably in the next few days, and it'll be up sometime either this week or next week. So I was laughing. Ralphie laughed, and I laughed back, and I was like, <laughs> and then it reminded me of, uh, does anybody know what this is? <laughs> oh, we got a live one here. <laughs> I can't do that part. I can't do it. The Joker from Bat Dance on Batman. Anybody remember that? Here, I'll show you. I'm going to show Ralphie. Oh, I got a live one here. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even get it exactly the same, but that's about it. No. So I'm just tucking Ralphie in, going to bed. Got to get back on the school schedule. So she starts school next week. And with a special girl named Phoebe. And look who's sleeping with him, Phoebe. She can sleep with me, right? Yeah, you do. She sees. What doing? You getting back on that school schedule, Phoebe? Yeah. All right, I have a shirt on. <laughs> he does. It's a good day when I have a good shirt on. But I said but people I are gonna very... think I never wear a shirt because I never have a shirt on. <laughs> but I've had a very crappy day. Yeah, we uh, getting ready for bed, and Brad had to go out a little bit earlier to bring all the pull floats in and take them out to the shed because we're supposed to get a storm tonight and tomorrow so we didn't want the floats to blow away we had a little trouble with the big blow up swan i sure did but he didn't vlog it but he did put it on snapchat so i'll insert the footage from that right here just know that i've had a bottle of wine oh here swanee 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 Come here, Swanee Swanee. I need to put you up. This dang thing keeps floating further and further away from me, and I can't get it. And I'm not jumping in to get it. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It may be coming. Oh, you're so pretty. Maybe if I talk nice to it, it'll come. Come here, swan. You're so pretty. You're such a sweet little swan. Come on. Your feathers look fabulous on you. I don't think it's working. Don't be showing your butt to me. I'm not another swan. Get your rear end over here. Get over here. Right here. I need you. Just come here. Today, come here. It's not listening. It's just doing circles right there in the middle of the pond. Or pond. Pool. So I can't even get to it.
what is my life? What is my life? It's just totally ignoring me, just sitting there spinning, doing circles. Come here. Just come here, please. I need you, swan. I need you. Come here. Just come see me. Come on, quit doing turns. Just come to me. I have an idea. I'm going to get this swan no matter what. No, oh, if I don't fall in. Ugh. Yeah, that idea sucked. It's going to go right over there to the jet and then just push it all over in the middle again. I'm, I'm about to get angry with this swan. I'm going to show it what's up in a minute. Does it look like I have swimming clothes on? I don't think so. Get your butt over here. Oh god, oh god. Maybe, maybe. I might be able to get it. Ah. Look at this guy. And I caught it. Orange nosed and all. I got it. It's mine now. You mean little swan, you trying to be all sneaky and slimy and all that. Oh gosh. Now you're in trouble and you have to go to the you gotta go to the swan home. That's the swan home. Stay right there and don't move. So I'm trying to fit this big old thing and this big old mess. I might need some help or luck or something like that. Why do you have to be a pain in my butt? You're so fun in the pool, but you're a pain when it's about to storm and get windy. All right, y'all, the swan got in the freaking swan home. Barely, just barely. Yeah, so he finally got that into the shed. Just didn't want to cooperate with him. Mm -hmm. And then we had a neighbor peeking in at me. Yeah, I was, I was watching it back. I said, look, the neighbor's looking at you over there. She had her <laughs> door open. I think she might have been letting her dogs in or out. But the door was open quite a while. She was probably watching Brad. <laughs> 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 She's probably like, oh my gosh, Brad. our neighbors are crazy. <laughs> she already knows I'm crazy. I've talked to her several times. So, all right. Gotta get to bed. It's late. I gave up hope on getting to bed early. <laughs> right. Something's always going on that I don't ever get to bed. But at least it's my Friday tomorrow, so. I had a really crappy day at work today. <laughs> you said that only five times. Like a really <laughs> crappy day. Did you have a bad day? I'm I had sorry. a very bad day at work today. It was horrible. It's life. Well, here's to a better day tomorrow. Well, you're off to work, so there you go. Just the boys and I. We're gonna go party. Party hattie. So thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you all tomorrow for Vlogus Day. Uh-oh, let's get to the part where I'm gonna have to count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it eighth or seventh? Seventh. Seventh. August Day seven. Good night. Good night, y'all.